Yeah, and what does this side have to equal? And what are you given? So she explains to us more than once how to do it so that we really know what's going on. She makes sure that everybody understands what we're doing so she doesn't like leave anybody out. And I really like the activities that she does. She makes like learning really fun. Um, so Bowdoin has always been home between Bowdoin and Innisfil, so I'm so lucky to be back here teaching in my home community. What's my bottom here? Nine. Okay. Well, yeah. Amy's been a side? tremendous uh, addition to our K to 12 family here at Bowdoin Grandview School. Um, she takes um, her position and her job so seriously, but yet continues to have fun while she's doing it. She, uh, she cares deeply for her kids and she has developed tremendously uh, deep and um, meaningful relationships with them. The kids know this too and uh, they work very hard for her. They know that she's working hard for them and this shows in their success uh, academically as well as their success as well-rounded students. So Amy truly exceeds the teaching quality standard. She uh, creates such an amazing atmosphere in her classroom. She is so inclusive with all of her students and she fosters such effective relationships with her students, um, with her staff, and also with the community as well. Her planning, um, her instructional strategies, and the way she differentiates learning for all of her students is absolutely amazing. Peg either team, okay? It's not just your own, make sense? Um, I've always said I wanted to work with youth and I think I have a big passion for physical activity. I think ultimately, I just wanted to work with kids every day and it just led me to teaching. Didn't think I'd be teaching grade seven my first year, but I can say I truly actually really love this age group of kids. She's really fun to have as a teacher. She's really energetic. And I focus well in the class and I enjoy what she teaches. It's absolutely amazing. I love her as a teacher. She's very happy all the time. She doesn't, she knows how to control a classroom and to keep it maintained and to make sure the kids learn how to be respectful, responsible, and to learn what we need to learn. The, one of my goals with the Great Sevens has been able to attach them and get them out to making connections in the community. She was able to uh, apply for and uh, she won um, an innovation grant through our school division, our, our trust board of trustees. And she then took this, uh, the extra money that she got from that and she developed a project, um, a CTF project that really dove into um, sort of businesses. So the kids were allowed to, uh, to research a business of their own develop products, market them, um, and then they had a, um, a Christmas uh, farmer's market where we had the community members come and buy their products. Uh, it was so successful that um, she was all of the kids were basically sold out of their products in the first 20, 20 minutes, half an hour. I think any chance that I get to see the kids in a different side of the academics, I really, really love. And I think those classes have given me such opportunity to get to know these kids and to challenge them in ways that is so much broader than just the curriculum. Side, you're standing in one of those. Every Monday morning they race in at 12, 13 years old and can't wait to tell me what they did on the weekend. And I told them for everything I teach them about agriculture, they get to teach me one thing about video games. So I can see my video game knowledge has increased this year. Um, it's like She's so happy and she's always like, how are you? Are you doing good? What are you doing this weekend? And she just like makes you smile and just puts a smile on your face. I feel very happy coming to her in the morning and like really energized when I get to see her first thing in the morning. So how does it feel to come to school when you know you're going to have her here? Really good.